17.9 grams. Able to get the tiny whoop down to that weight. Several modifications. You can see the camera housing there. Cut the holes with the soldering iron. This is the small crazy pony antenna. I have all the dimensions for the wire lengths. That's the center core of a 1.13 millimeter coax. Everything is soldered. No connectors. It does have the power whoop connector. The length is precise. Also, the frame is reinforced with the high strength adhesive that really makes this thing indestructible. You don't need any sort of external reinforcement. All these struts on both sides are reinforced. They don't break. It's like some sort of miracle when you put that glue on there. Switch to nylon bolts. I have in the parts list. You can see where to get those and you actually got a tap. You got to buy that old tap and you got a thread tap. The holes it does go into. I still have to glue down the camera. I'm going to put some glue on both sides. I'm going to glue this antenna really well. It'll be really strong. I have a big old gob of this welder cement on the back there, so it'll strain relief it. What else? I gotta glue this front. Oh, I've swapped. This is the B brain controller, and I've swapped the stock antenna with wire wrap wire. Does much better. Lighter weight, that is, and it's a little longer. I got that to compensate for the curve. And also the ground, there's got some ground plane there. So we're doing a little bit longer receiver antenna wire. And trim off some weight because we'd lose that really heavy copper. And what else modified on this? Precise length of the camera wire. Oh, the USB connectors desoldered. That's pretty easy to do. You just put a big old solder blob on there. And then just pop it off and then you use your solder wick right here and then you can clean out all the holes get rid of all that weight you can still program with USB you just have to put the connector just in the holes and kind of lean it a little bit you can save your old connector but that's like a tenth of a gram you're taking that big old clunky connector off and what else? You need to have a good soldering iron when you do this kind of rework. Something that's uh, temperature regulated. This one works. Had to modify it though, removing the pot. The pot was a piece of junk. Put some fixed resistors. And you balance your blades. There's plenty of videos on that using a pencil lead. 17.9 grams. I lost a gram. You get much longer flight times. I could probably go five minutes on a new pack, but I'd like to do three and a half, get some reserve, because I'm um, doing long range stuff. I got my transmitters, one 1300 milliwatts, patch antenna, receiver, clear view, of course, 9 dB. I got a video on that. I'm still, uh, I'll do a video on this transmitter. Uh, it's so far it's uh, getting phenomenal range with that. Oh, don't forget, take your uh, stickers off your batteries. There's a tenth of a gram. Don't need the stickers. I can't think of anything else to lighten this thing up. I'm tempted to depopulate the push buttons on the top here. But they're kind of a pain. It looks like a pain to solder. 
if you really want to get aggressive, I could lighten up those power wires, go to wire wrap wire. But, eh, not worth it. Actually, the motor wire would probably be a good idea. From some old motors, just swap out that big old clunky wire with motor wire. Now right here I glued the camera and also glued strain relief on the antenna and on the receiver antenna. Just glued the end. Tape is just holding the wire down while the glue dries. So I flew it like this four and a half minutes with a 21, uh, 210 milliamp hour pack. It would probably be over five on a 250 uh, pack. And, uh, but you want to use a timer. I set my timer at three minutes. That way I get plenty of reserve. I don't have to rush back right away. I hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.